Acute wounds on the ocular surface normally heal in a complex and orderly manner, characterized by several distinct but overlapping phases, inflammation, proliferation, and remodeling. The healing process begins with activation of inflammation. Neutrophils rapidly migrate from the tear film into the wound, providing immediate defense against bacterial infection. These neutrophils eventually undergo programmed cell death known as apoptosis and are removed by M2-type macrophages by phagocytosis. In the next phase of healing, the proliferation phase, fibroblasts proliferate to form granulation tissue and keratinocytes proliferate causing re-epithelialization. In the final phase of ocular surface wound healing, there is repair and remodeling of the wound site. Some patients are non-responders and do not experience optimal healing, increasing the risk of inflammation and scarring. Injury or disease of the cornea initiates the wound healing response. Healing can be unpredictable and inflammation can be excessive. This leads to too much deposition of connective tissue and scarring. An overabundance of neutrophils can increase tissue degradation and as a result, a greater inflammatory response. With increased inflammation, macrophages cannot transition to the M2 type and stay as M1 type macrophages. M1 type macrophages then trigger recruitment of lymphocytes to the wound. When the wound is infiltrated by an overabundance of inflammatory cells, both neutrophils and lymphocytes, there's excessive fibroblast proliferation, excessive collagen production, and excessive fibrosis. Corneal scarring can lead to a permanent decrease in visual quality. To prevent scarring, a biological active treatment option that promotes wound healing and modulates inflammation is needed. Regeneration is an elegant type of wound healing in which the injured ocular surface tissue is restored to its original state. Fetal wound healing occurs rapidly without scar formation. The amniotic membrane, which surrounds the fetus during pregnancy, has potent healing properties that are responsible for regeneration. Biotissue products leverage these key benefits to suppress ocular surface inflammation, scarring, and angiogenesis. BioTissue is the only company that cryopreserves its products using the Cryotech method, which ensures that the tissue is structurally intact and that the extracellular matrix components responsible for regenerative healing are preserved. Recent investigations have demonstrated that a specific component of the amniotic membrane plays a key role in these therapeutically beneficial actions. It is known as high molecular weight, heavy chain hyaluronic acid complex or HCHA. HCHA acts through a number of mechanisms to modulate the wound healing process and reduce scar formation. By binding to the surface of neutrophils, it accelerates their apoptosis. It also promotes the formation of M2-type highly phagocytic macrophages which remove apoptotic neutrophils from the wound. HCHA also reduces the activation of lymphocytes, specifically Th1 and Th17 lymphocytes. These actions serve to reduce excessive inflammation induced by the healing cascade and thereby results in reduced scar formation. Cryopreserved amniotic products from biotissue, such as Procara, provide a unique regenerative wound healing treatment option for corneal and ocular surface repair. In summary, only BioTissue's unique and proprietary cryotech process abundantly provides the active biological extracellular matrix components such as HCHA that promotes regenerative healing of the ocular surface. The result is a great chance for normal tissue replacement, less scarring, and maintenance of an optically clear cornea.